Nerd Soul. Okay, at one young so hold it down, bring you that street geek and nerd soul. And what is up, my people? That's right, today we got another cool movie review for y'all, and we're gonna be talking about Assassin's Creed. That's right, the video game to movie adaption with your man Michael Fassbender not only producing but getting the starring role. Now, before we get into the full review, and this will still be non spoiler for all those that haven't seen the film yet, but I got a chance to see this at the Fox lot, so shout out to Fox. And I got a chance to see it with your girl, Sahai Wilson. Shout out, Sahai. And we got a little footage of our initial reactions, so if I could roll that beautiful bean footage. How'd you feel about the film? I loved it. I didn't expect to, but I really, really liked it a lot. Ah, uh, okay. I'll be honest, there have been some, you know, advanced word out there. But I was locked in. I was locked in. I had a bunch of fun. So, you know, I, man. I highly recommend it. I, I thought it was going to be boring. I thought I wasn't going to be able to follow the story. But it was exciting. It was action-packed. It was diverse. So I highly recommend it. Yeah, you know, some cool fight scenes. You know, the acting was, yo, I was, I was Michael in there. Michael Fassbender was shirtless a lot. I appreciated that. It <laughs> was like female assassins, you know, black assassins, Asian assassins, Latino assassins. I, I loved it a lot. Yeah, they kept, they kept it diverse. So anyway, now we're going to get back to the regular review. So there you have it. And that's how I was feeling when I first walked out the theater. Now, I wanted to give it a couple of days until Christmas to kind of see if I was still feeling the same way. And I have to say that I have to give Assassin's Creed not only some love for the way that they directed this, the way that they kept me uh, kind of locked in to the past and the future, or I guess the current time, but the way that Michael Fassbender um, Jeremy Irons, definitely. Marion Cotillard hold, held it down. And my man, Michael K. Williams, doing his thing. All, you know, just came together so well for me that I have to give this movie three and a half stars. Uh, it's just something that really locked me in. And I think the best word for me would be interesting. Like, I'm interested to see where the Templars and the assassins are gonna go from here. I'm interested in their battle through the centuries over power and over this item that, you know, just has the Templars so, you know, just enthralled and so basically obsessed. So I'd have to say, not only am I just given this score because I was locked in, but as someone who's never played the game, I'm very, very interested in this history that these two, you know, I guess factions have been going through for years. Now, of course, the direction was pretty dope because you got this situation where you got Michael Fassbender up in this, like, uh, I guess you could say jail type, rehabilitation type spot that the Templars got going on. And then you have this setting from the 1400s that normally I would be, as an action guy, I'd be like, well, I'm not really into, you know, period pieces, but they found a way to make just regular bows and arrows and knives really, really cool. So I'd have to say for you guys, if you are into action, if you're into the game, I'd say check it out. Now, it might not be one of them joints that you wanna spend like an $18 ticket on, but say Saturday afternoon, about one or two o'clock, check it out, get a matinee. I think it's definitely worth the shot. So jump down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about Assassin's Creed. I was locked in, had a real good time. I'm interested to see what the Templars do next, what the Assassins do next. So before I get out of here, I gotta say, that nerdsoul.com, check that out. You can get all of my videos from the latest to the oldest and from the oldest to the latest. No matter whether I'm chilling with Isaac or After Buzz TV or Jedi Alliance, no matter what, you can find that stuff there. Then check out shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player and don't forget one for your playettes. Then come back here, like, comment, and subscribe and don't forget to share that nerd soul, yo. Don't be stingy.
please don't be stingy. Then, of course, before I get out of here, I gotta say, LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And a big shout out to Fox and your girl, Sahai Wilson. Say hi, Sahai. Anyway, of course, be good to yourselves and be good to each other. Peace.